Hi. Good evening. Welcome, welcome. Um, I just hopped out. Hopped out. I started. I came in already, and I hopped out to um, check that. Check my chat because I am using the same device that I need to use. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm gonna type in and put it. Um, pin our topic, and then. Um, hopefully as you all pop in and you all join, I will bring up our guest very soon. And I know that everyone's time is very precious. And so we will make sure we keep to time. I'm just going to put what we're going to be talking about today right here. And I'm going to pin it so that when others join in, they can get to see this. Okay. So we're looking at, we're talking about automation today and I hope you're enjoying the music. Just give me a second. Let me put this here so that we can, uh, so automation. That's like a new word in my vocab now. <laughs> Automation in your business. Okay, so I'm putting that here. And to those of us who get to watch this later, uh, make sure you share your comments. Make sure you um, let us know your feedback also. All right. So I can see my guest is here already. And um, I'm just going to say, you know, Richard, Richard is the founder and CEO of a company called Walk Chop. <laughs> So it sounds like your same workshop, but it's Workshop and um, Media and Towers, yes, Limited. And it's one of our ASNI partners this year. So those of us who are able to be in Abuja for any aspect of ASNI, we, um, we're going to, you're going to get the chance to meet him. He's going to be delivering a masterclass also. And I'm sure you're going to see a lot more about, you know, what he does, especially if you follow his page. So I'm going to lower my music and I'm going to be bringing him up very soon. Um, I can see that he's here already. And I'm hoping to have uh, more of us pop in. We sent reminders to everyone. I know that most people say Fridays for them. They're probably rushing back. They're on the road or something. Okay, so I'm trying to lower our our beats and get ready. So let's welcome, join me and welcome Richard Odiama. So um, his surname is actually quite, that's actually quite a simple surname, really. Odiama. So when are we bringing up our guest, Richard? Hi, Richard Officia. Looking forward to having Richard here. And I'm, I'm trusting our network. We're really good. Yay, there's Richard. Yay. <laughs> How Hi. are you? I am doing amazing. How are you? Fine, thank you. Very fine, thank you. Good to have you here. We're really happy to have you. And um, I hope your day has been good. Yeah, it has. It has been pretty well, pretty well. You know, um, I, I've been following Asni and following you for the last um, three years. You know, and mm -hmm. you haven't aged one bit. You are. <laughs> Is that me or Anthony? <laughs> you, first of all, you. Um, and I was like, oh, this, lady, this lady, okay, let me just keep following, you know. But, but then it, I. Asini is doing phenomenal work. I mean, 11 years, oh my goodness. You know, that, that is something that is powerful, you know, and. Um, Thank you. Our last conversation, our impressive conversation, you know, yeah, um, yeah. about words, and you know, when we're talking about it, it all seemed, what's she talking about? And, and now <laughs> I see the reaction, of it and it's it's beautiful, it's beautiful. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really happy, and I'm really happy to, to to hear that. I'm just, and it's interesting too, you know, same thing, you know, when you when you just follow some pages, I I, I follow your page, and I'm like, okay, what's this really about, you know? And then again, we had that um, demo, so I think what we've done you know between us between you doing a demo for us and you also coming to interact with us and know more about ASNI is what we're trying to achieve um, by actually letting more people know about ASNI so most people we find they hear the terms you know someone called yesterday and said eh, how is this your ASNI thing going and then they still ask like what is it about and I'm like what aspect did, do you not know that it's about because we have so much information out there you know so and it's, but it's important to know you want to know what they don't know so that you know how to frame your you know your message as well too so um so i think um honestly i'm really happy and i'm happy for this conversation and um, i want to start first by asking you about your before we jump right into our topic tell us about your background like how did you get to um to do what you what you're doing you know you know how you, you hear someone would say oh i studied political science and then now i'm doing um artificial intelligence or i studied this that that and everything so was this always your path tell us about your background growing up you know what were your interests how did you get to do to where you are now okay so uh, first of all uh, most of after god most of the credit goes to my dad my dad ah, um, introduced lovely yes 
computers in 1998, right? And um, since then, I've always been wow. fascinated how they work. You know, um, I could all I could almost say that um, I, to be honest, for 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 my younger years, I could communicate better with computers than I could with human beings. That's the reality. <laughs> You know, and um, that made me, you know, dive deep, you know. Okay. Um, when I got more you know, older, right, I started my first degree in economics, right? Um, oh, wow, you see, and I'm <laughs> there, I was just well, guessing. Yes, right, I studied economics for four years, but then I dropped out of university. And okay. then um, I studied business administration for another two years. And then, um, yes. And then I picked up a diploma in software engineering. Okay. Now, yes. Now, putting all of this together, right, um, I, I realized that software engineering was something that I, I, I wanted to um, pursue actively. But then I didn't realize, but marketing sounds nicer. Marketing wow. feels okay. more natural. So, so this me man has said he has gone from, I'm, I'm looking at me writing down, <laughs> economics <laughs> and then we <laughs> Okay. Yeah. So, so um, I, I, I arrive at um, this point where I'm looking at, okay, marketing looks nice. All right. Um, because particularly because I have this natural thing with psychology, human psychology is, yeah. uh, to, to a, it comes natural to me. And okay. I decided, okay, why don't I um, fuse what I know about software, fuse what I know about um, psychology mm. and, and then begin to build, you know, a career around this. So when I first yes. started out, I was in all industries, and then um, I joined um, Google in 2019. I was in this program with Google, all right? Okay. Um, where um, I was a trainer for Google, and um, uh -huh. initially, Interesting. yes, I was training um, business is at large, and then at some point, I focused and honed in on education, and okay. I was able to train over 100 and 140 schools in the FCT, Ooh. right? Who private. Schools, yes, on digital marketing and um, and what it's about, right? And um, excellent. Yes. Mm -hmm. So from that, you know, my, my agency used to be um, all industries, and then we focused and decided, okay, let's go deep into education yes. and see yes. what we can do here, you know. And then we came in with there was the software thing. I, I had already started a couple of companies um, before okay. that. I had a development um, company. I had a software power delivery service. Right. Um, wow. I started a freelance platform. Right. Um, so. And what platform? Of, a freelance platform. Can, okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Right. okay. So okay. what workshop did not actually start as as a media <laughs> agent? Yes. <laughs> workshop started out as a freelance platform. You know, and um, it, it evolved in, from 2016 to 2019. Okay. Right. This so. Is um, amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> thank you. So off the back of that, you know. Then COVID hit, and yeah. we we had, um, to pivot to um, go with the times and everything, and that was the rise of the digital um, madness, particularly yes. within the education. Right um, at that point, uh, a lot of schools, to be honest, um, got exposed. Right yes. as not yes, yes. exactly yes, they, we've all preached the gospel of the digital economy, but a lot of us were still relying heavily on the traditional. And but 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 the great thing is, um, I do empathize with the lives that were lost during COVID. But the great oh, thing definitely. is, COVID definitely. yes, mm -hmm. COVID COVID helped us Nigerians, you know, expose ourselves to the possibilities. And you know, when you when you key yourself into possibilities, it yeah. is limitless, it's endless, Beautiful. right? And, and, and that has, that transition and move all the way and got me uh, into becoming this guy who is able to understand software, who is able to um, build out understand things education. on the back of good software, marketing, and psychology. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Woo. I like this now. Now, this, this is, you see, just, just even hearing your journey is actually even, you know, giving me even a, a better picture and making us, I mean, we like you a lot so much already. Now we like you even much more. <laughs> even much Thank more you. because following you on this journey is actually, uh, makes it so authentic. You know, that's so real. And I, I like the fact that you said, you know, how you, um, began to just, you know, you, you began to focus, you know, you began to focus a bit more. So from starting as general, 
you began to focus. And so that's really good. So now I want to jump right into our, you know, our discussion for today. Um, what's the big deal about, what's automation? You know, anyone who's listening and, and they're like, eh, I always hear this word, you know, like, I mean, when I, when I think of autom in automation, you're thinking automatic or automobile or what exactly is automation concerning us? So people that might be watching are business owners and they may be educators. Okay, so what's the simplest way? What is the big deal about it really? What is automation? I'll speak to the results of automation. Time. Okay. Time. Time Woo! is, time mm -hmm. is um, almost, and I, I dare say, more superior to money. Yes. Yeah. And our ability to um, take time and exchange it, you know, for value is, is key to our nature as humans. Yes. So automation, think of automation. I'm going to, let me make it visual. Okay. All of us, many of us have washing machines in our homes. Mm -hmm. Your ability to take a pile of clothes, put them together, open up the washer and put them in there and yep. tell the washer, I want you to do this in 15 minutes and you close the door. Yeah. You are able to execute more than one task in the same window. Yes. So we already all experience automation within you know, our homes, for instance. Yes. Uh, but here's the thing. Automation requires, it's, it's not void of the human interaction. Yay. So for instance, <laughs> okay. Alex, lights off. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at that magic. <laughs> Alex, if I say lights, lights on, off. sorry, no, it's not Nepa. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. So now, um, it doesn't take away the fact that I, I need to be part of the process, mm -hmm, all mm -hmm. right? When you come into business automation, now what you're saying is two pieces of technology communicating, yes. having a conversation, kind of like you and I right now. Yeah. So yes, yes. you're able to say, this task, all right, I want you to interact with this other task, and I want to be involved at the lowest Minimal. level possible. Yes. I don't so want to taking the stress out of my life. Lovely. Lovely. Straight up. Straight up. Now, you see, um, the, the, the thing is, and, and, and another mm -hmm. way to look at automation is a lot of these platforms, the tech giants, the Facebooks, yes. the Google, yes, all right, yes, yes. Um, the TikToks, they are making non experts look like experts. And that's another thing that automation is bringing. I have to write that down. Too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh huh. They are making. Uh, people who struggle, for instance, content creation, all yes. right, people who yeah. are not so great at it, simply go on an app, press a few buttons, and then they're experts. And they're experts. So it, and they're, it would and have taken stars. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Now, I could drive a manual car for 20 years. Yes. And I can drive this automatic car for 20 years. Or you, or you can drive a manual, I'm driving automatic. It doesn't mm -hmm. mean I still know how to drive. Yeah. But what the automatic has done, it, it has eliminated the fear of wielding the steering, of being on yeah. the highway. And uh -huh. if after a year of driving a, an automatic car, I get into a manual car, I will already have the mindset. Because you see, automation is the mindset. First, build the mindset that it is possible okay. to eliminate low-level tasks, low-level content creation, so that like you that. can focus and free your mind. Because when your mind is free, you can think. Now, there's so much coming that at us. So in the, wow. Uh -huh, uh -huh. There's yeah. so much coming at us in this information age that we are unable to put into perspective what really matters. Yeah. So all of us are, quite honestly, addicted to our phones. It's helping our lives, to be honest. But, we've, but it's we've also forgotten. stressing us out sometimes. Oh, yeah. So many things. Out. So much. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And, and, and that, that speaks to the, one of the challenges of automation, to be honest. All right. It does. Yes. Uh huh. So I, I think this is um, one of the, the nicest descriptions I've actually heard of automation. That is so easy. I mean, considering I actually just put some clothes in the washing machine like three hours ago. And imagine if oh, it was nice. in those times when we had no washing machines. I would, I would have been like, washing 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 and then i would have to run up and you know come and talk and then run outside again you know so um that is just I, I, now i'm loving that now so now as um as a business owner how do i know what um, i should be considering you know how do i know what to say okay you know what let's find a way to automate this and how do i know what should be 
left as it is. So we're not saying everyone turn everything, automate everything in your, in your organization or in your business or in your office, right? So how do I really know when to start thinking of some of these things need to be automated? How do, how do people know when they get that aha moment, when that revelation um, hits them? <laughs> or when, when, they, when this is the, the, the sign that they should make, do something about it? Stress. Aha. Well, stress is the number one indicator. Right, that's it. So, big... Yes. So uh, what areas within the business are giving you the most headache? All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. How can how can how can I take myself out of this? I don't like to do this thing. Yeah. Do I have enough to hire someone? Is mm -hmm. there some level of technology I can apply that will make my life easy so it becomes yes. a set forgets it or nearly sets it and forgets it? Okay. And for it, um, I have one of my partners on my executive team. She okay. worked as our manager for eight solid years. Ooh. We have, because of how we've automated HR systems, she has yeah. not had to lift in in the last six months. You're kidding. Anything regarding HR. There's zero paperwork. There's the, even mm. the interviews are near, are 90% automated. Whoa. Even the, yes, even having to um, appraise the, the, um, uh, uh, the uh, applicants is yes. automated. Right. Hmm. Um, yes, designing the organizational chart is automated. So for huh. I, I'm Robot, not worried. I'm telling you, we're going to get to that point very soon. <laughs> You're taking our <laughs> jobs. Automation. You're taking our. We're going to get there very soon. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Okay. So well, everything is. She, what she's saying is that she's not doing. So she's she's she, she she has time to actually do other aspects and focus on what really counts. So the high level tasks. Yes. Yes. Exactly. High level tasks. Yes, exactly. You know, because I mean, w when COVID hits, you know, and we were, you know, uh, focused on education, one of the things we immediately were called in as fire service, you know, to put out fires were get us online, get us virtual. How do we communicate Whoa. with school? How do we do all of that? You know, um, but the truth is, when you early on begin to adopt the mindset that, okay, this thing, needs it's stressing us out yeah let's to see what the future is like so future Ooh, thinking nice. That's leaders That's future thinking leaders are one of the people who are most positioned to tap into automation to tap yes. into ah. um abilities of um software talking to software and eliminating the need for um, too much um, hands-on, hands-on, you yeah. know. Yeah, it, yeah. It's, it's, it's. Hmm. So, um, yes. So, but, but I must point out that uh, there are challenges that come with. Good. You know, <laughs> I was just getting, uh, I was even just getting there, like, yeah, it's not all, yes. it's not all glass yes. and rosy, yes? Yes. So, 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 so tell me, me some of the, some of them, yeah. Tell me some, some oh, of the okay. challenges that, um, you know, the top three, so, you would say. We would, Stop moving too fast. That's Good. number one. Good. We would Good. start moving way too fast and we would, in our minds, think that we're making progress. Progress, all right? yeah. But not realize that we are slowly burning out. Whew. Now, so that I like, honestly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You have put, you, you earned, three hours ago, you put clothes in the washer, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. And then you went on to do something else that you believed was productive. Yeah. However, all right, it takes away the place of being mindful. Now, um, back in the day, when you sat to wash, when you wash, when you mm -hmm. wash, you could think, you could reflect, yes. you could pause, yeah. you could catch up on life. You could really look into yourself and see who yeah. you are, where you are, where you're going. You know, because you are doing a repetitive task that doesn't exactly require too much cognitive power. Yeah, so too much of your brain. Yeah, so you can actually, yeah, yeah. So you can yeah. Focus in and, you know, take that in. But when you outsource that to automation, you, you lose that opportunity to reflect. Personally, mm -hmm. sometimes what I deliberately do is I, I, I don't just, I, I could go to the gym in the morning and then yeah. what I watch the gym, 
I, I, I hand wash myself. Yeah. Every other thing goes in the washer. So that so I that don't you're doing, yeah, yeah. You know, I don't lose touch. Oh, that's it helps that's my the mind. word. That's what I'm going to write. That is so important. So don't lose touch, you know, in everything yes. that you're doing. Because most people will probably hear this and be like, Richard, we're calling you right now. Come and let's automate everything, you know. And I think that's, no, no, I no, think no, that's no. something I'm also very particular. Let, we had a... Let, we had a shop. Okay, go on. Yeah, go on. Oh, I'm sorry for cutting you. But let, no, let, no, let me... Let me. <laughs> so when we... <laughs> In the next five to seven years, when we've uh -huh. automated everything, restaurants, our robots, robots uh -huh. serving us, everything, uh -huh. said, you know, we, the humans, will begin to put a premium again on humans. And that's, we that's would the want... Yes, <laughs> the value would now be like, please come back. <laughs> it, will, it will come back, right? But the thing is, before we demonize technology, let us embrace yeah. it and move with the times. Let us okay. not be the because when the tractor came, farmers said we don't want the tractor. But yeah, today everyone don't need has it. like yeah. We don't need yeah. it. Oh, well, we all want it, right? Um, when the uh -huh. washing machine and came, everybody said it will make um, uh, the, the, the children the lazy. lazy. It would make yeah. That, but uh, we're, we're, we're using it. We're all using it, I... right? <laughs> In fact, you know, like saying, this, this is really funny because you're talking about like dishwashers. Like my, my kids have, have, have pledged and said, any house we're ever moving to must have a dishwasher. I said, like, I, this is the least I can do for you guys. Just wash, like be in touch with these plates, you know, <laughs> don't just load everything, <laughs> be in touch with your, you know, and sometimes not everything you want to now have. Very soon, I'm going to yes. have a robot to pick up the plates and put into the dishwasher themselves, you know, so. I know, yeah. exactly. Very soon, actually, very soon. Mm -hmm. And, and let, let me talk a bit about um, the AI tool that we have. And yes, the please. Challenge that. So, um, writing with AI is amazing, I will tell Before you. Before you go on now, so let's imagine someone here is like, what is this AI again, sir? Let's also, um, what is AI? And, and again, in the simplest terms. So, I, I, we, I, we know what it stands for, but you can tell us again. And then, what does that mean? Tell us again, like, the outcomes of it. So, what's AI? So AI, first off, stands for artificial intelligence. Okay. So um, think of a robot that okay. is almost able to think or no, to do more things and accomplish more things thought-wise than a human ever could. <laughs> AI. So is this, do you term it the same thing as machine intelligence? Do you call it the same thing? Or is there a difference? Learning. Yeah. So, so yes, but so, for instance, okay, so with the AI tool, my team and I are, are uh, built, right? Yes. Now, in leverage technology called GPT-3, all right? Okay. Now, now GPT-3 is, is, is built off the back of OpenAI, uh, which is okay. led by Elon Musk, all right? Now, oh, okay. it, it's, yes. So, GPT-3 stands for Generative Pre-trained Transformer. So, Transformer like in the movie Transformer. Like kind the of, movie Transformer, so robot. yeah. Good memory. Yes. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right? So now, the GPT-3 was fed with 570 gigabytes of text data. Now, to put this that in is perspective... That is a lot. Yes. To put this in perspective, your mm. average notepad document with, um, say... Um, okay, let me use a Word document. Okay. I think more people would think with that. A Word document yeah. on your computer is okay. um, like about three pages could be, say, um, less than 500 kilobytes. Yes. Three pages. It's, it's not heavy, yeah. It's not heavy at all, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So think 570 gigabytes hmm. of English language, all right, compressed together to produce um, content. So, so it has more you, than enough. Wow, that is rich. No wonder exactly. it's such a you know it's such an amazing tool. Oh, I see. Uh -huh, She's uh -huh, also uh -huh. able to avoid plagiarism. I see. And even when it does detect plagiarism, okay, AI is still able to rework that sentence or article without losing context in multiple ways. So you can say the exact same thing in so many different ways without losing okay. context. Okay, right? so now I, so, I want, um, just give me a second. So for people out there, right, those who are watching and those who will watch this after. So 
Um, Richard's going to, going to give us a bit more background to this really amazing tool. Now, before we had our, we had a, a Zoom session, I think a week ago or two weeks ago. And before we had this, Richard, had, you know, and everyone had tried to explain to me what this whole, it, you know, it does content and so on and so on. And I was like, yeah, you know, we're still going out of the other ear. And I was like, I'm sure I understand it, but I don't really understand. And then he did a demo in like three minutes. I was like, unbelievable. So um, he, um, this, and those of us who are going to be at ASME and also who are going to connect with Richard immediately after this also. Um, it's something, even if you're not in education, whatever you do, content is king. You need to have content. And what it does, it can generate content for you to share on your, your platforms um, all the way down to letters. It was just totally amazing. Does the product actually have its own separate name? That product, does it have no. its own separate name? Or it's just yes, the... Yes, it does. Yes, it does. It's called okay. Niches. Niches, okay. All right. Yeah, so, so now I want you to out, tell out, people out, out there a bit how it works. Let's tell them how, um, also how it works when, when you can, when you're done. Let, let's know how, and the, how they can um, log in. Is it an app? Is it a website and yes, all that? Okay. Web, a web app. It's a okay. web app and you uh, it on your mobile phone, your browser on your mobile device. Okay. So all you simply is it'll, it'll ask you a few, uh, just a couple of questions. Okay. Um, what is your business name? Um, if you're creating blog content, it'll ask you, um, so to provide certain keywords, you know, okay. that describe this, then it'll ask you what your blog is about. All right. Mm -hmm, and then it'll mm -hmm. ask you for a title, just okay. give it a random title or okay. not necessarily random because AI is garbage in garbage out. So it takes right? what you, it sees there. Mm -hmm. yeah, perspective. If you give AI perspective, it will turn out really good content for you. So okay. the moment, once you're, you're done imputing this bits of information, you click the generate button, and in less than 60 seconds, you have content. Like, it, it brings out different types of things. So uh, it, it can produce blogs for you. It can help you write a book. It can write digital courses. You, letters? Yes. You, yes. Letters, too. Yes, you can write letters, um, newsletters, email. Yes, cold DMs. You can write text for cold DMs, right? You can, um, <laughs> you can write copy, right? Um, you can you can write it, it for those who make youtube videos it can give yeah. you ideas for your youtube channel it can mm. give you stuff you can use on a teleprompter all right you, and you just read off the teleprompter oh you know, that is um, good yes that's expensive you know, um, wow very very um like really great honestly that's really exciting and even the beautiful thing about the teleprompter thing is that you are able to um do this on your mobile device Right, um, there are there are teleprompters on your mobile. Yes, you don't need to buy it a an actual teleprompter. You can do this on your you know on your mobile phone. So mm -hmm. it, it just makes life easy. So like I said, platforms that are helping non creators mm -hmm. look like experts are winning. <laughs> so now anyone who's an expert are going to be looking at you like, hmm, did you get Richard's tool? Like we don't know whether you. <laughs> I mean, for you to do that, you're an expert already. Because for you to have the sense to also do that. Also, so that I, I, I like this. I, I like this. Um, I like the way you say. Where you say, um, you know, people out there that we're all like, oh my god, they're so cool. You know, I mean, that make them look like experts. Really, what they've done is that they have leveraged on um, automation or and, and AI too. Yes, excellent. That's it. That is excellent. Honestly, I'm 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 liking that too. So um, before I I, I go on, you know, most people always are concerned about you know once they hear that automation and anything techy, they feel oh the cost. They're going to just charge us. We can't afford this. You know, so how do we how do we break this um, the value down to people who are still concerned? Do they just feel no, 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 no? I don't like hearing about all this automation thing. It's just going to take all okay. my. I will, my money. I, I will tell you this: it is expensive. Okay. But what is the value of your time mm -hmm. against ignorance? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it, it's actually more of the value. In fact, I, I know we, we do have that saying a lot and we try and, you know, tell our, our our clients and my my coaching platform, I always tell them, see, nothing is actually expensive. It's really the value you place on it. That's really the truth. It's really the value you place on it, you know. So that they're, 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 um, I usually give the example of maybe the place where, when I'm in Abuja and the place where I go and do my hair, most people would normally be like, ugh, you know, they're a bit expensive. I'm like, that expensive to them, it's maybe 1,500 Naira more than but the kind of peace, the people are so polite. The place is clean. I mean, they are they don't talk and make a lot of noise, you know, so just exactly what I need. So that is the value for me. So I'm not really, yeah. So I'm not calculating whether 
you know, I could find someone, you know, there that, that would maybe save me 1,000 naira or so. So value on that, this thing. I know that's really excellent. Thank you. This lovely person who has um, been typing the stuff. I love that. I've taken that down to value of your time against so ignorance. Just, just, to, just to, to relate to what you said about making your hair. I have this, wh where I cut my hair, um, the barber uses solar. Solar? Uh -uh. That is amazing. <laughs> because, I, just, I mean, he has reduced his overhead costs drastically, you know. So when you think of that's that in the context, of that, that, that is also mm -hmm. automation. Yeah, so automation yes, yes. does not really always have to be software. But yeah, right now, right now, because of um, the many things that we have to do, particularly interacting yes. with platforms like this one we're on right yes. now, software yes. has become that. That's, that's really what it is. So I think um, it's, it's really a better way of doing things, an easier, more stressless way of doing things. So anything that can make your life, you know, less stressful, you know, you, 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 you know that you're, I think that's, um, that's what everyone's actual goal should be. That's what we should be, you know, we should be doing like, you know, goals, future goals, business goals should be to automate as much as you can. And so I think one thing um, people should do when they're going back to their organizations is to look, look at your different processes, look at the different systems, different tasks that you have to do, your daily tasks, weekly tasks, your monthly tasks, your regular tasks, and find out, you know, which ones bring the most stress, which ones can I actually automate, you know? So I think this is what is what actually help us even build that structure. I love that. And I love what um, some of the comments here, I love stress-free. Honestly, I think we all do. I mean, look at us where, you know, we're in different um, continents probably, and we're having this conversation and ASNI is in a few weeks and we're getting things done. A lot of things are genuinely being automated. Um, I know two or three years ago, I, I actually landed five days before ASNI and most people didn't know, they didn't, no one knew where I was. They didn't know whether I was there or not, but we had a full number of exhibitors. We had um, over 3000 and something exhibitors in a two day period because I was on the phone all the time or, you know, the, whatever needed to be done, send out letters when they need to and all that and stuff. And, for me, I think it was it was more the most humbling experience because I realized that you can actually do a lot of things without having to be there once you have the right systems. True. And yeah, and True. once you know, yeah, once you have that the right system, the right processes. So that's, I think for me is, um, it's always very humbling. You, you actually, you're actually seeing things that you've been, you know, you've been working on and you actually see them come to pass. So I, I think I, I like, I like that. And I like this, I like what um, Tuff also types here. Um, automation is the future for sustainable businesses. I think that is, so key. Um, so <clears throat> one um, way, uh, there are two questions I think I have here that I, um, I would like to, let me see if I can put them together now. So um, business owners, I know that most times, you know, like how the, the post I put up about robots taking our jobs. And um, in fact, one of my, uh, my courses during my master's program, we looked at something on artificial intelligence as a, as a side theme. And, okay. you know, someone that was the heading of their, this thing, the robots are take, taking our, taking our job by the next few years, we won't have any work and i like that you said that <laughs> automation is not really can't really be independent of um, the human touch really there were some some things that can never be and should never be automated you know there's some things that never got to make so how do you get your team your staff team your employees um to buy in so because i know most time when you say we want to automate our system we want to do this everyone starts thinking mm -hmm, is it my job that they want to take <laughs> so <laughs> What's the what are the steps? How do we even have this conversation? So we're business owners or entrepreneurs, and we you want to bring together your team and talk about some of the things you want to do. What advice? The first do you thing. Have? The first Sorry? thing is empathy. Empathy, empathy. first. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. Now, um, help them understand that. Mm -hmm. Look, uh, your job is not going anywhere. Okay secure help them help them um manage their insecurities first Aww, okay when you do when you do they know that you are not threatening them yes they yeah. are you coming from a place of love then that is just so the sweet uh-huh moves the responsibility to them and i'm yes. not I'm, I'm going a little harsh here yeah the words of gary v innovate or die yes now that would also mean that would also mean skill up, yeah. Because yes. this tool 
requires someone to use it. Yes. Would you be that? Excellent. Excellent. I love that. In fact, that is just, that is hot. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so I, I, I was at, I was privileged to speak at a, um, a writing academy um, a okay. few weeks ago. They asked okay. me, this AI is, is writing right now. What, what do we, how do we, you know, live for the future? And I said, writing and what? Hmm. Accounting and what? Law and what? what next? We're no longer in a world where yeah. I am this. It's I am this, this, and this. So it's My your ability to yeah. bind these things together yes. to create a, to create value, yeah. to create buying. Now, when the employee is open-minded to um, wanting to improve themselves, yes. wanting yeah. to be um, is accepting of of the need for growth, yeah, because the business is not trying to get rid of you, they're trying to grow. And it is a thing of you jumping on that growth train and moving Excellent. with them. Yes. Now, to gain, after this, to gain buy-in, the business owner needs to not just grab any software, not just <laughs> grab any technology, because uh -huh, they say uh -huh. it's it. What you want to look at Do is, your research. how mm -hmm. is it? Can you get in and get out? Okay. For instance, my workflow management is automated. Okay. So uh, I had the struggle of using tools that, you know, where, oh, you know, task management tools where everybody had to be on it. And, you uh, know, yes, uh, I know those ones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> non, non, you're not working with people who are developers. Yeah. Uh, you're working Honestly. with people who want to create. It is stress. So what we did was identify um, a flexible system that all people needed to do was stay within the spaces where they are already comfortable. So for instance, okay. you get your email, um, an email, and you have a button inside your email that allows you to mark a task as done. Yes, yes, yes. And the yes, moment uh -huh. you mark that task as done, the next person receives an email saying it's time for them to done. commence. Excellent. And yes. But on the back end, I see a dashboard that shows me the progress of every project we're working on. So the team doesn't even have to join any get, software. Get bogged down they don't yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're already communicating with email. They can as well continue that way. Yeah. So first off, you want to see how easy is it to get in and out of that tool. Excellent. That's number one. Yes. Number two, if the software in question is robust and has a whole lot of things, yes. all right, as, as a business owner, within that software, look to see what particular future, you know, what, which feature solves the biggest problem for yes. the team. Yes. And how addictive can that software, that particular feature, not just the entire software, that particular feature be for the team? I like that, honestly. When mm. you are able to identify that, okay, my team can get hooked on. So think about Instagram. The yeah. reason why all talk on Instagram is because we can do this on and yeah. on and on We're all and on. Scroll, honestly, <laughs> it's so easy. So, yeah. So for for the not especially the non techie people, yeah. how can you make activity almost mindless for them? So that even if the sense. tool is so bogus, start yeah. with the one that sell them on, like the business owner, sell them on the ones that make them feel like they're not doing anything. Yeah, so it's easy. Just easy to feel. Yes. Yeah. So over time, over time, you, work you know, it up. someone mm. able to discover on their own, oh, this other yes. one, oh, this is, oh, this is possible, oh, that is possible. The follow oh, wow. to that, oh. yes. And we've had hmm. years, right? That's how it works. All right? So, wow. but when you start, oh, we're going to have a school management software. Oh, we're going to have this. And you're all, you know, yeah. Cape Crusader. This is they it. We're going to get it. Mm. They will ignore you. Right? <laughs> uh -huh. And then, then the managers. Are the managers the manager. able... Yes. Are the managers able to adopt these systems and run with it? The actual leaders. Yeah. So I like that. Honestly. Even 
you, the business owner, is does not have the time. Do you yes, have the time yes. to train one person within your organization, just one, just yes. one person within your organization who becomes the champion? So, for instance, if you think, I, I don't know if you're familiar with the concept of OKRs, objectives and key results. Yes, yes, yes. But you can let's say that one else. Yes, please. Uh huh. Uh huh. I like that. So OKR, OKRs in themselves are pretty complex. I'll be the first one to tell you that, right? Mm -hmm. But there, there are companies who have brought out and, and built, you know, softwares that make OKRs. Ah, life is easy. That's easy. All right. You see? But you hmm. need an OKR champion within your organization like uh -huh. who will do this thing from the beginning to the end yes. and who will keep people accountable week on week to ensure that those goals are met, those objectives are met, you know, the initiatives to power yes. the key results. Yes. And that mm -hmm. way, buy-in becomes a smooth transition over a period of time. Yes. It's not, it's not instant. It's not like going to be like, it's, we've seen it. We meet no it. We want that. Yeah. No way. I, I, I think um, I've, this has been such a hugely um, engaging and informative and enlightening conversation. Um, I'm really looking forward to having you at um, ASNI also. So everyone out there, in case you're, you, know, you don't know about ASNI, um, Richard is going to be there actually leading a master class. And we're going to be looking a bit more in detail um, into this automation. And so it's going to be very practical. You're going to get to um, touch, feel, try out these things for yourself. ASNI. Um, is taking place from um, May 28th and 28th. That's the main exhibition and the the main exhibition and masterclass and seminars and award ceremony. 9 to 6 p.m. That's a Friday and a Saturday in the city of Abuja. Non-stop fun, non-stop learning, so much um, great networking. I'm really looking forward to it. So the day, of, you're going to be speaking, of course, I'm sure on the first day, on the, on the Friday. Um, we do have a syndicate first day of ASME, but it's not um, for the public. It's It's just a private... Yeah. Shake, um, stakeholders forum and so when we say 27th to 29th the 27th is um, a bit like a round table kind of forum where some of our key partners would be there I think um, I'm, I'm just smiling because I've, I've actually learned so much and I love it when you know when my head is <laughs> when my head is stimulated <laughs> like this I think um, it really ties in with something you know that I, I strongly believe in and you know because I'm, I'm really big on structures and most of the coaching programs I run um, I think the question I get asked is like wait how have you been able to manage an organization and you have been away, you know, so I've been away doing postgraduate studies and I, I, I go back once in a while and sometimes people, people look at me and wait, wait, explain to me again. You, you mean you've been away for four months at a time and your business hasn't crashed and all these training programs have been going on and, and stuff like that. And so that's one thing I believe that people need that, you need that freedom. Uh, you, you, I think um, automation is also going to, you know, bring even more freedom to your life. You know, you need to get to that point where you, you let go of some things. Many of us still want to have full control and i think one thing that you said that ties into something i also believe is that when you're looking at your structure or this or, or the kind of things you need in your organization don't look at the people but look more at the tasks that are needed so sometimes we look at all the stuff we have and we say ah this guy is very nice so hey yeah he's really good but then he doesn't actually have you know any particular thing that he's going to be able to bring to the table. So when you're able to look and say, okay, what do we need now? We need better accounting um, structure. We need a better this. We need more maybe um, proposal writing or international relations. You know, those kind of things. You now list them out. Then you can now see hmm, who in the organization, who, who can actually run this and who can, what can we automate so that you're not just looking at your team unless you're going to keep getting frustrated and, you know, keep wondering. So, um, this has been exciting. I am already looking forward to oh, the, the, the masterclass. And um, before we, we do round up this conversation, I'll, I'd like to hear um, a bit more from you. So tell us how um, people can connect with you and then let us know, is, are there any things that you have coming up between now and ask, do you have any programs coming up? Are, are you doing any virtual um, um, programs? Do you have any weekly things that you do that people can also um, um, join in also? Or what can we look out for from you? Okay, so at the moment, um, if I'm being honest, at, at the moment, I, I'm trying to restart my vlog. Okay. Right? Okay. Yes, I'm trying to restart my vlog. Um, that has been something I've been looking to do um, okay. for a while. You know, it's, it's, it's been, it's, yes, it's been of great um, interest to me. Um, okay. Mostly because, mostly because um, most, I, I'm honestly unable to... Um, just sit and, and just yeah. talk, 
right? Um, yeah. What I, what, but because you're asking me questions, you know, it's it allowing me put my thoughts together, you know, slow down and really, you know, articulate yeah. them. I'm more yeah. of a um, on the fly, you know, um, it just happens. So I, yeah. there's a lot of time, times I, I, I'm talking in the office and, and, and my team are like, wow. <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> you know, you know, so so I, I, really, I figured, okay, how about we document the entire day? You know, now we've been trying to do this for, for, for the last um, one year. So w w the period I was schools yeah the period i was training schools um in yeah. 2019 you know we mm -hmm. did a bit of that we're trying to get that in but again we had to figure out how to automate this so now my team is at the verge of um fully having that automated you know Ooh. so i'm uh -huh. hoping that we would um become uh, um, get really active at that and then um probably when that happens i'll let everyone know on my page Yay. so you can connect with me. i reach out for feedback <laughs> Yeah, on Instagram, um, Twitter, and um, LinkedIn. But I'm most active on Instagram, you know, yeah. right now. We're still working out um, the other areas. Uh, um, yeah. Get things put in place. Which is good. I mean, and that's, I think, and, and Instagram is good. And I mean, you could do your little, you know, little bits and pieces on um, reels also. We'll look forward to seeing those little clips. <laughs> Um, yes. Yes. We can. We can benefit a lot. So, um, can you guys say your your um Instagram handle again? Did you say official or official? Official. There's no L. Without an L. Without Ooh. an L. I without an L. Without... Okay. Here we go. Being un <laughs> unconventional again. Okay. <laughs> so I Richard Officia. No L. Yes. No, not official. Yeah. I'm sure by the time you yeah. start typing and his his um his details would pop up. Um. So, Richard is. I, Richard, is, um, apart from all the things that he does, he, we're privileged to have him on board ASNI this year. And we're really looking forward to a great time. You all get to sit with him. You get to have him, you get to have consultation sessions, sessions with him. And so very soon, I'm sure he would have like forms and you can start booking, doing your bookings and things. And I know that product, you're going to get to have a demo of the product also. And I know, I'm sure that we're going to have some bonus um, offer or package for those people yeah. who... Yes, also do everyone. attend yeah yes oh thank you perfect thanks um itofa yes. is here also thank you itofa um thank you. i want to say a huge thank you this has been like so much fun and i'm looking forward to this i'm going to share this video on our different platforms uh when i'm done and thank you to everyone who has popped in i i i just i, I love the conversation i love the the flow um i'm just now honestly i'm talking to you now i'm busy thinking in my head i'm talking about i'm thinking in my head, what am i going to do now what am i going to <laughs> what am i automating next <laughs> <laughs> what am I taking out? What am I bringing in? Also, so thank you so much for your time. I know what it is to, you know, to give this amount of time. Um, also, time is like, as you said, time is uh, is the is is the is, is the goal. Time time is the new gold. You know, so giving yeah. your time to be here with us, we really appreciate that. And um, I was just trying to I was trying to get a collection of songs. I, I try and play some sort of upbeat music so you can dance your way out when you're going. <laughs> Let me see which Ooh. song here. Then I try to get songs Please. like. It's, Oh, I got this. This is an old song, but let me play this one. Okay. Well, it's not old, but it's not. It's, I like African beats when I can, but. <laughs> uh -huh. The motivated dance. Ah! Uh -huh. <laughs> this was lovely. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm learning this. <laughs> lovely day. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, thank bye you, bye. Richard. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, everyone who has been here. Don't forget, tomorrow is our first Asli Pod. Tomorrow is the Early Child Early Years Festival in the city of Abuja. We also have our UK guests, three UK guests. They're here in the UK. They are going to be um, doing an initial session on um, on Zoom. And so you really want to know. Again, this is something else. Is, these are automated tools in early childhood education. So you actually want to be there. So you, you should, you should, you can send us a DM, you can send a message here. You can join the Zoom session if you're not in Abuja. And the Zoom session is just 5,000 Nigerian Naira, which is about $10 or so. So you can, you can send a message to us. Our contact details are there. If you still want to um, get a space for the early years festival, it's really exciting. And then after that, the people who are there, we have a panel. They've actually set up a, a whole um, learning space, like a theme room. So it's going to be really exciting. If you're in Abuja, you really, really want to be there. I think we probably have a few spaces left, okay? And so the panel session, I'm looking at um, needs and education from, from nutrition 
in early childhood education to resource development and then parenting. So how to bring parents together on these platforms. Okay, so tomorrow, Early Years Festival starts at nine with the Zoom sessions. So please reach out, reach any of us, send a message, send a DM, find our, our contact details. Yes, thank you. Okay, still that good. I will send you the, the details and account details. I think I have your number, so I'll send you that. Okay, so thank you. I'll see us all next week and, and every thank you, Richard. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>